everyone, in today's video I have a few Blue Sky nude polishes, uh, gel polishes to show you. I decided to show you on uh, natural now so you can see what the opacity of each polish is like. First one I'm showing you is Nude 09, which is obviously a very sheer pinky nude. Um, I think really this one would only be good for a uh, French polish or um, maybe just one coat for a really really natural look but it really doesn't offer much coverage at all so if you've got anything you want to hide I wouldn't say go for this one I probably wouldn't repurchase this one myself because it's not really I mean I don't do a lot of French manicures so it's not something that I really need but here it is on natural nails so you can see the opacity and you can tell with three coats it's still not really full coverage so the next one I'm showing you is Nude 10 and this is quite similar to Nude 9 in the way that it is very sheer again. Would be good for a French manicure but not really much else. Uh, I think this one's a bit more of a natural colour, a bit more on your um, neutral brownie kind of tone. So it is, you know, if you do do a lot of French manicures this might be handy for you to have Nude 09 and Nude 10 just you know for different skin tones but again I probably won't be repurchasing this one just because it's not the kind of a nude that I personally need and also again with three coats it is no nowhere near full coverage um, to be honest I almost feel like it just makes me look like I've got dirty fingernails like stained fingernails I, I'm not a fan of the look of nude 9 or nude 10 the third color I have is nude 12 which I am much much happier with it is I still don't know that I'd call it full coverage because even with three coats I feel like you can still see uh, where my um, smile line is my natural smile line is but it is a hundred times more coverage than the previous two polishes and I could definitely see myself wearing this just um, three coats and it's completely acceptable um, as a full coverage nude uh, it is kind of a similar tone to Nude 10, but um, obviously it's um, much more coverage. It's kind of a warm, browny, mid-tone nude. It's definitely not a light nude, but it's dark nude either. It's kind of in between. And with three coats, it's pretty good coverage. The final one is not from the nude range, this is 7403 and it is like a sheer yellowy nude with some holographic glitter in it. And you could place this over the top of another nude but it would change the colour slightly because it does have a colour to the gel that the glitter is in so it would kind of make whatever colour you put it over a little bit more yellow. Again this probably isn't full coverage but I think with the glitter in it and three coats you could totally get away with um, wearing it as a full coverage um, nude um, it's quite pretty I do quite like this one I probably would repurchase I'm not sure I don't I don't know it's not kind of the color that I use a lot of um, but those are the four nudes I swatched today you know if you find it more helpful for um, swatches to be on actual nails to test the opacity because I feel like on stuff you can't really tell how opaque they are I did want to make a note that uh, Nude 12 is very similar to 80563. It's maybe a f like half a shade lighter and I think the coverage of 8056 is a bit better. So if you have already got one, maybe you don't get the other one. But um, those are the four colors again. And I will have a bunch more um, swatches coming up soon because I've bought more polishes and I've got another like 10 or so coming in the mail as well because I'm addicted to buying polish. Um, let me know if you'd prefer to see them on actual nails or you find them on pots. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. And I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. I'm almost at 1000 subscribers, which I cannot believe. And just thank you so much for all liking and sharing and subscribing and all those nice things.